Four years ago, Bishop Wensky invited our diocese to examine itself, to dream about our future, and to lay a roadmap for the years ahead. This historic project brought together over a thousand Catholics to serve on 20 planning commissions in the first General Synod of the Diocese of Orlando. Now the people of St. Charles Borromeo have been invited to play their part in implementing the Synod's vision. The Alive in Christ campaign is designed to fund the roadmap for the future of our growing diocese. We have a great opportunity to grow in our personal relationship with Christ, to lead our brothers and sisters to abundant life, and to share God's love for all people. We have much to celebrate already. Our parish is small, but it has a huge heart. In the beginning, it was the heart of the diocese, the home of the first bishops and our first cathedral. We have a blue ribbon school that is widely recognized for the academic and spiritual development of our young people. And we are blessed to be a faith-filled community of believers who are committed to lives of stewardship and service in the Lord's name. As we reflect on our many blessings, we know that Christ's work in us must continue. Through Alive in Christ, we have a unique opportunity to answer our baptismal call to grow, lead and share our living faith by addressing our most pressing needs. Our priorities for Alive in Christ are to renovate our parish and school facilities and establish a tuition endowment for St. Charles Borromeo School. Our parish is our spiritual home where we grow in our relationship with Christ and with one another. We will increase the energy efficiency of our buildings by installing new hurricane-resistant windows and updating our electrical supply system. Improvements to the kitchen and restrooms in our social hall will help create new opportunities for fellowship. Through our school and religious education programs, we form our young people as disciples of Jesus Christ and prepare them to lead our church into the future. By upgrading our school facilities, we will continue our tradition of excellence in Catholic education. Our plans include new state-of-the-art technology and improvements to our early learning playground. Ultimately, the Kingdom of God is not about buildings, but about the formation of new Christians. As we share God's abiding love, we will ensure that our school is accessible to all our people. A permanent endowment will provide parish families with access to high quality Catholic education, regardless of their economic means. Alive in Christ offers St. Charles Borromeo the opportunity to answer the Lord's call to grow, lead and share our living faith by raising funds to advance our parish mission while also supporting the capital needs of our wider church family. Through the Alive in Christ campaign, we will join together with every parish in the diocese to help fund the key priorities that emerge from our diocesan synod. We have set a goal of $1.4 million for our parish. If we are blessed to raise this amount, the greater part of the proceeds will be used to fund our parish priorities. In addition, a portion of the funds raised through Alive in Christ will provide support for the many bold and exciting new projects taking place throughout the nine counties of our diocese. Our goal may seem daunting in our present economic climate, yet it is in these dark times that we need to invest in the values of the gospel, trusting God to lead us into the light. For over 50 years, our families have given sacrificially to create the parish we have today. With humble gratitude, let us follow in the footsteps of those who have gone before us, keeping in our hearts the knowledge 
that God is never outdone in generosity. Now it is my pleasure to introduce Bishop Wensky as he explains his vision for the Alive in Christ campaign. To come alive in Christ is to allow His grace to permeate our lives so that we try to, to think as He would think and to act as He would act. We are standing on the shoulders of those who have gone before us. We are blessed with people of faith and vision, people who embrace and celebrate their Catholic faith, transform communities, and make known the love of Christ throughout Central Florida. In Central Florida, our church is alive in Christ. In the next decade, the population here in the nine counties of our diocese could grow from the present four million to about seven million people. Parishes are the heart of the Catholic community and the primary instrument of the church to reveal God's presence in our world. The expansion of Catholic schools responds to our area's explosive population growth and families express desire for Catholic education. Educating our youth is a fundamental mission of the church in Central Florida. Through permanent endowments, Catholic education will be accessible to all families. As an outreach, the new Campus Ministry Center will help students understand the richness of their faith, enhance their relationship with God, and expose them to the best of Catholic spirituality and tradition. My biggest hope for the Diocese of Orlando is an increase of vocations to the priesthood so that we will be able to meet the needs of our people for sacramental ministries in future years. Throughout our nine counties, Catholic Charities is redefining its role as the major provider of services to meet the needs of our poor, hungry, and homeless. Our glorious God has blessed the Diocese of Orlando with a successful launch of the Alive in Christ campaign. It is with great conviction and confidence in God's grace that we begin this bold effort. Our goal is to raise $150 million. Strong parishes equal a strong diocese. And so the first 90 million will strengthen the mission and ministry at the parish level. And 60 million will support our larger church priorities as identified through our synod. Our church is about families, your own family, your parish family, in our growing Catholic family in the Diocese of Orlando. Please join me to ensure the success of the Alive in Christ campaign. Prayerfully consider your own sacrificial gift to Alive in Christ, as your pastor and I have personally done, to meet the needs of your parish and our diocese. Joining together, our church is truly Alive in Christ.